So the main purpose of this video is to show how to set up an organelle with multiple MIDI devices in a reasonably advanced configuration setting. This particular demo that I did actually had one organelle connected via a USB MIDI hub to a second organelle, a pyramid sequencer and a virus TI. But for this purposes, that's just a keyboard. So now let's start looking at how to configure this. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the MIDI menu setup. And what I'm after at this point is I'm trying to find out what the device addresses for each of the MIDI devices is. These are the numbers that I show in my little diagram, like 36 colon 0, 28 colon 0. So the way I do this, I go to the MIDI device in the setup menu and I select each device in turn and I get the pairs of numbers so I can see the organelle is 28 colon 0, the pyramid is 36 colon 0 and the virus is 32 colon 1. And then what I do is I select the device that I want to have input and output to as my main device as it were as um, the, the mini device and then I press save. Okay, now at this point, what we can then do is we can now eject the USB stick and actually go and start editing it on our computer. I've loaded the USB drive up here called Organelle. Now, what you will find is in the root of the directory, a file called patch underscore loaded.sh. This is actually the file that we're going to have to edit to allow us to deal with multiple MIDI devices. Now, we have two choices here. We could just edit the file, but if we do that, then if we go into the config menu again on the organelle, we will just overwrite our changes. So the second choice is to actually copy that file into a directory called system. Now, mine already exists, and this is what I've done, but you could create that directory called system if yours does not exist. So if you copy it there, then you're okay. The other option is actually to have a patched underscore loaded SH file in with a particular patch. Now, if you do that, that means that only when the particular patch is loaded will this uh, configuration be used. So that can be useful for custom configuration. Okay, so here I've opened up the patch underscore loaded dot sh in a normal text editor, which I'm going to edit with. Um, I'm also overlaying my little architectural diagram so that we can actually see some numbers here. Um, now, I'm, we're not interested in most of this file. Um, all I would say is the first thing is that a hash represents um, a commented line, otherwise, in other words, it's not interpreted. So if you want to put comments, you could do that. The second thing is don't edit anything between the MIDI parameter start and MIDI parameters end, including those tags. Those are considered system uh, information. I'm not interested in the OSU send at the moment. What I'm primarily interested in is the A Connect client. So this is the default setup that was created because I selected the pyramid. And what we can see here is A Connect 36 colon 0, 128 colon 0. What that actually means is, while the 36 colon 0 is the pyramid, the 128 colon 0 represents pure data's input channel. So what that basically does is connect the pyramid output to pure data's input. Conversely, what we have is a connect 128 colon 1 to 36 colon 0. This means to connect pure data's output to the pyramid's input. Now, it's worth saying that the colon 10 does not mean input and output. Um, it's just a quirk of pure data. The, um, you will see for most physical devices that, that you use the same number, second number for both input and output, as we do here with Pyramid, where we use 36 colon 0, 36 colon 0. Okay, so what we, that's our basic setup, which we can already do using the uh, uh, organelle directly. Now what we're going to do is to add two more lines. And what these two lines do is connect our other two devices to pure data. So in this particular example, 28 colon 0 is 
the other all come out. And the 32 codon one is IRSTI. So what this means is that now if I actually use press any keys on the other org ML, or if I press keys on my virus, then those will also go to the pure data patch on this particular org ML. So now what we have is multiple devices talking to our pure data patch. That's nice. Uh, and if we set that up as Omni, then we could configure our patch to, for example, have drums on the channel one and say a synth on the channel two. That's fine. Now what I want to do is I want to go beyond that. So what I've got here is these devices are all connected to the same USB hub. But what I want to happen now is I want to be able to control the second organelle and the uh, from both my sequencer and also the virus keyboard. And I'm going to do that by basically forwarding all MIDI messages through the first organelle. And the way I'm going to differentiate it is quite simple. The, the first organelle is, on, is looking after MIDI channel one and the second organelle is using MIDI channel two. So to do that, we don't have to alter our pure data patch or anything. We can actually use output to do it. And that's what the next two lines do. You can see that the output here is 28 colon zero in both examples. So that says to org, organelle two. And what I'm doing is I do an aconec 36 colon zero, 28 colon zero. So that's the pyramid to organelle two and 32 colon one to 28 colon zero. So the virus to second organelle. I hope that's been useful. I think for most people they probably are connecting multiple MIDI device inputs so that's just the first step uh, that's quite easy uh, but I thought I would also show that you can actually route MIDI directly through which was the second step I showed um, because the organ is very very flexible um, and of course this allows you to do things with sequences and other synths, etc. So it's all very good. Um, there is another advanced topic on allowing pure data to actually have multiple virtual inputs, but I'm not going to go into that today. I think that's enough for now. <laughs> have fun patching. Bye for now.